animations can create a smoother and more engaging user experience. So today, we'll take a look at how we can add animations in Vue and what it has to offer without any external libraries. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like button. The most commonly used component for animations is the transition component, which wraps around any elements. When we do this, it applies a total of six different CSS classes to the child elements. These classes are applied as an element would enter and leave the screen. An element starts with an enter from and moves to an enter to where the transition is described in the enter active. Similarly, we also have its counterparts, leave from, leave to, and leave active, which act the same way. Leave from is going to be the state before it leaves from the page, leave to is where we want it to go, and leave active controls the animation. We can create a simple example by showing text that fades in and out when a button is clicked. We can do this by creating a reactive variable that is toggled with the click listener. We'll then use this boolean to control the rendering of the text. For our simple animation, we'll only need to set the enter from and leave to opacity since the default opacity is visible. For the animation, we'll have it transition the opacity over two seconds with ease. We'll want to use the same animation in both leaving and entering. Finally, to get this to work, we'll need to pass in a name prop into the transition component. Vue will append this to all our class transitions, allowing us to create or reuse different animations. We can also apply CSS animations the same way. For example, if we wanted text to bounce in, we'll need to use CSS keyframes. We'll create a bouncing keyframe, which will initially have our element scaled at zero, then go a little larger and end at its original scale. Since the key takes care of the initial and final size, we'll only need to set the enter active and leave active. We'll also want to make sure the leave animation is in reverse so it flows correctly. We've covered the basics of single element transitions, but we may want to transition between different components. We can do this with a V else, which will display a second set of text when the value is false. As it transitions between the visible and not visible, both texts are rendered at the same time. This is the default behavior of a transition component, and we can change this by setting a mode prop. You can pass in the value in out where the new element is transitioned in first and then when completed the current element is transitioned out. We can also pass an out in where the current element is transitioned out first and then the new element is transitioned in. Out in is what you'll want most of the time and it worked perfectly in our example. So far we've been animating a single element at a time, but what if we want to apply an animation to a list or group of elements? If we have a list of elements and we want them all to be the same animation, we can tell Vue to apply transition classes to all of the elements by using the transition group component. This is similar to the transition component we looked at earlier, except it only applies the classes to a single element, while the transition group will apply it to all of the elements it wraps. Unlike transitions, this component will actually render an element. We can control its type by passing in a tag property. Let's take a look at how we can use this component in an example. You'll notice in this example, as we add and remove items, they get animated in and out. To start, we'll create a simple list that will accept user input. When a user clicks the add text button, we'll push this text onto a reactive array. We'll now iterate over this array and display its values in a list. For removing the item, we'll add an onClick listener, which will splice and remove the element at the provided index. We can wrap this in a transition group component and set its tag to be an unordered list. For the animation, I'll create a simple slide effect that will slide the text from the left on entry and to the right on exit. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I have a growing community over on Discord if you have any questions. Hope to see you in the next one.